This is question number six. We're told Sarah is carrying out a series of experiments which involve using increasing amounts of a chemical. In the first experiment, she uses six grams of a chemical, and in the second experiment, she uses 7.8 grams of a chemical. In the first part of the question, for three marks, it says, given that the amounts of a chemical used form an arithmetic progression, find the total amount of chemical used in the first 30 experiments. So let's go ahead and collect some information. I'm going to have A, N, D, S and L. A is the first term. The first term is going to be 6. We've got now the number, which is going to be 30. We're looking for the sum and we need to find the difference. The difference we can see quite clearly from the first two experiments will give us for 7.8 minus for 6 which is 1.8. So all I'm going to do is write in here 1.8. We can say in general the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression is n over 2, 2a where a is the first term plus n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. So we'll have the sum of the first 30 terms will be 30 over 2. We'll have two lots of a 2 lots of a is going to give me 12. Then we'll have n minus 1, and that's going to be 29, multiplied by the common difference of 1.8. So all I'm going to do is simply put this through a calculator and find the answer. So it'll give me 15, and then I'm going to have 12 plus 29 lots of the 1.8. So let's go ahead and see what that value is. So we'll have 15 then we'll have 12 plus now the 29 times by the 1.8 and this is now going to give us 963. So we can say that this is going to be equal to 963 grams. So that's the first part of the question done for three marks. Let's now look at the second part. It says instead it is given that the amounts of chemicals or chemical use form a geometric progression. Sarah has a total of 1800 grams of a chemical available. Show that n, the greatest number of experiments possible, satisfies the inequality 1.3 to the n is equal to or less than 91 and use logarithms to calculate the value of n. The question carries six marks. Okay, so let's collect some information. This time a, r, n, and s. a is the first term. That's going to be 6. We now need to look at the ratio. If this is geometric, we can say that a sub 2, the second term, divided by the first term will give us that ratio. So from here we can see 7.8 divided by 6 is going to give us now the common ratio. So 6 goes into 7.8, 1.3 times, so we've got our common ratio. So let's just write this here. So the ratio is 1.3. If we look now, n is going to be big N, or capital N, and we have 1800. In general, we can say now that the sum of n terms will be A, then I'm going to use R to the N minus 1, over r minus 1. You can use 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. In this particular case, it's going to be easier to use this form. So what we can say then is that 1800 must be equal to or greater than a, which is going to be the first term. Then I'm going to have the ratio, which will be 1.3 to the power of n minus 1, over now 1.3 minus 1. So if we look at this now, what I have is 1.3 minus 1, which is going to give me 0 0.3. So I'm going to write that 1800 must be equal to or greater than 6 divided by 0 0.3 is going to give me 20. Then I'm going to have 1.3 to the n minus 1. Dividing both sides of the inequality by 20, that's going to give me 90 will be equal to or greater 
from 1.3 to the power of n minus 1. Adding the 1 to both sides, 91 will be equal to or greater than 1.3 to the power of n. So that's the first part done. I'm now going to solve this using logs, and I'm going to take logs of both sides of the inequality. I'm going to use base 10, and I'm just going to write now log of 91 will be equal to or greater than log of 1.3 to the n. Using the power law, I can write now that log 91 will be equal to or greater than n log 1.3. Log 1.3 is a positive number, therefore I don't need to worry about when I'm dividing the inequality. And I can write that log 91 over log 1.3 must be equal to or greater than n. So let's have a look now at this on a calculator and we can put this in. So again, you can use any base that you want as long as you're consistent. Log 91 over log 1.3 and this is going to give us a value of 17.193. So 17.193 dot 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 must be greater than or equal to n. Therefore, now we can say n has got to be less than this and n will be 17. So what we've done is just given now that n is going to be 17, that is the maximum number of experiments that she can do now when she has 1800 grams of the chemical. So in the first part of the question, we've used an arithmetic progression. In the second part, a geometric. A couple of different ways around it, but this should be the answer that we get on the second part. And then on the first part, we should have now 963 grams.